Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Outpost Rush, but I'm going to show you how you can still get credit in Outpost Rush, get the loot box, get the Azoth, and get the gold rewards without killing a single player. Alright, so a lot of, like, one of the number one complaints I've seen on the forums is that people will play Outpost Rush and they will contribute to the team, they'll be playing and they won't get enough score to get the loot and uh, at the end of the match, you know, be like a 30 minute match, they get a message that says contribute more to earn rewards. Well, I'm going to show you how you can earn rewards without killing a single player. Now, late recently, the game's updated um, how gear score works in PvP and it's really, really stupid, I'm going to tell you right now. So, gear score has a lot to do with damage and damage reduction and right now I'm using a budget set uh, I'm just using like a 525 rapier 520 armor and I'm gonna be serious if I fight a gear score 600 heavy armor user I do almost no damage to them if they have like 250 to 300 con constitution uh, I barely hurt them at all so like P PvP for me right now in outpost rush uh, on this merged server, uh, it's it's crazy, right? Because I do almost no damage and they kill me in like just a few hits. I am in light armor, so that's kind of my fault. But the point, the point is, is that someone with my gear may not be able to score enough by actually capturing points and and going into PvP. So what I'm doing here is I'm just killing the mobs inside Outpost Rush. Uh, you can do this while you watch anime. You can do this while you watch YouTube, read a book, whatever. Th this takes almost no brain power. It takes almost no focus at all, and every enemy that I kill, I, look, I'm earning score. I'm actually the fourth, I'm ranked number four out of 40 right now, uh, which I haven't even killed a player, I haven't captured a point, and I'm also chopping the trees, and I'm going to get into why I'm chopping the trees in a little bit, because that is going to greatly boost your score as well. Now, besides just killing these mobs over and over and getting the Azoth Essence, uh, I will be also killing uh, animals for skins. And I'm just going to avoid this archer real quick. You don't have to have a specific build, but anything that kills Ancient Earth, which are these wooden dudes, or uh, beasts, is, is a good build. I'm using a glass cannon build that I just use to skin animals, so it's not a big deal. Like, I don't really have uh, any constitution at all, other than what my gear provides. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can massively boost your score so that you will always be considered or counted as contributing... Um, and, and again, this this is a, this isn't like to exploit the game or anything. This is not to uh, uh, you know like piss off your team or troll or anything. This is just simply for you guys out there that were stuck on servers where you couldn't get gear because people didn't do merc guard runs or you weren't part of an inner circle. You weren't part of a guild that included you in those kinds of things. Uh, like the, a lot of small servers out there with like maybe nine to twelve player peaks per day. Right? Imagine that you you log into a server. There's like twelve people on. And those people aren't your friends. They don't uh, post anything on the trading post. And uh, you can't really, you know, improve your gear score through crafting because they never list things on the market. And there's no materials to buy to even power level uh, your crafting to get to 600 gear score anyway. So on and so forth, right? So instead of complaining on the forums and Reddit that you aren't getting con contribution points, all you have to do is do exactly what I'm doing in the video. So what I did was I ran over to the... Uh, Dryad Grove, there's another one on the other side of the map, and you just kill the mobs and you chop the trees. So let's see where my score is at. Right now it's 280. I'm, I'm ranked 15 out of 40, which is not bad, but once we take a small break here and we, t we turn in this wood, our score is going to jump up massively unless someone is already doing what we're doing, and I can guarantee you no one is currently doing this in Outpost Rush. Now if everyone does this, it's going to be a little bit harder to raise your score, but... I have good news. You only need a score of 500 to receive your loot box, okay? Now, I have also noticed you get more uh, you get more gold and a little bit better rewards if your team wins. That's cool. And you, you can always help them fight later. I mean, right? I only shoot heavy armor people for 1,000, which is really bad. And they shoot me for about four to 5,000. But um, that will help later, like if we're pushing a point. You can PvP, but what you want to do is you want to at least get to 500 points so you can get your just your basic loot box, but if you do this the entire match, you will always get one of the better boxes, or the, the better rewards, per se. And even if your team loses, then um, or is pushed into their spawn, if you do this right at the start of the match, you can guarantee your 500 score. 
Uh, so right now I'm at about 247 wood. Uh, don't worry too much about how much wood you have or how much Azoth you have. Uh, the Azoth vials, we are going to possibly turn that in, and by turning it in, we are going to increase our score. Same with the wood. We're also going to stop by and do some skinning because that just helps the, the, the bases, and that's how we're going to rapidly increase our score. Other than that, you can just spam down these enemies. You don't have to farm enemies here, but these guys respawn the fastest, and they're near wood, and a lot of things that you build in these bases require lots and lots of wood, so you want to have plenty of wood. Now, I, I am paying a little bit of attention. I'm looking out for red names, and my build, which is Rapier and Musket, allows me to run away or flee from anything, so unless someone is crouching into these bushes and sneaking up on me, they're not going to kill me, for one. I'm just going to be able to run away from them. Because if I die, I lose all the resources that I've gathered, which will hurt our score. Uh, because we definitely want to turn these in. And I generally start going to the base when I hit 500 Azoth files. So right now I'm at 300, and my score is 480. So I just need to kill this one archer, and I've, I've guaranteed a loot box. If I wanted to be a jerk, I could just go AFK after killing this guy. If I wanted to, but I, I want the better loot box. Okay, if I just set it 500, yeah, I'll, I'll get the... Um, you know, the, the Azoth and the gold and the basic loot box, it's whatever. But if I continue to push onward, right now I'm like ranked 20 out of 40. So we're, don't worry about that though. Once we turn in this wood, it's going to jump up massively. And you'll notice that I'm not like chopping every tree down. I'm just trying to chop down the big trees because the time uh, the time spent versus the wood you get is, is really pretty much worth it. So uh, also while you hang out, there are areas where if you have a musket or a ranged weapon, you could pull two two wolves. And don't worry about how I'm playing, I literally just... I, I'm kind of in a bummed mood, and I got some health stuff going on, so I'm not really playing at my A game. I'm, I just logged in to make a video. I know it's not high energy uh, that my videos usually provide, but... Um, let's use the compass here. So there are some dogs. So let's go ahead and get these, because I do want some leather. So, in case no one has built it yet, we can make a respawn point for our team. And these guys will reset, so I want to make sure that I kill them pretty quick. Like, this one's about to reset, so didn't kill him fast enough. But, we did get this one, and uh, I'm just going to let him reset. And shoot him with the fire bullet, which I didn't headshot him, that's fine. Shoot him with another regular shot, third one should do it. Down he goes, alright, cool. So right now, I'm at 400. Uh, if I go to the wolf area now and kill the alpha, that's going to give me 50 plus 25 plus 25, which should be more than enough that I need and give me the leather that I need to create a respawn point. And it looks like I can't do that for my team because the enemy back capped it. So this me this is a little risky, um, but I still want to get the leather so when my team rotates around, or I can set it spawn and snipe enemies and hopefully don't get two-shotted and lose all my loot. Uh, because that would be that would be bad. Y your team has to own the fort to be able to con bleh, construct on it, which is going to rapidly increase our score from what it currently is. Right now we're at what 680. Again, we we've got our loot box. We're all secured in the first few minutes. Well, how long did it take us? Like six, seven minutes. But right now, um, it it is being recapped by our team, so that's good. Um, and this gives us an opportunity to go kill the alpha wolf. Now the reason we kill the alpha and not just the regular wolves is because it drops way, way, way more leather. Uh, and it has a longer respawn time. So, also the Azoth files. So the alpha wolf is this silver wolf, each base has one. And, uh, you want to burst it down before it summons its two little buddies. So just give it all that you got because that's going to be its attack animation. After it finishes it, it will then immediately attack, which... Um, there you go. Just, once you kill the alpha, the little summons will sometimes disappear. Not always. And also, they can do a lot of damage. So, like, I'm at half health right now. Let's roll out of that. And I didn't fail to roll. Anyway, it's fine. Okay, so down the alpha goes, and then we get the Azoth files. I am heavily bleeding, but that's okay. We do have the food buff. It's fine. And there's one more wolf to kill before we go back to base. We do have enough leather to create the spawn point. But this wolf is pretty easy. See, we can just burst it down, carry that. Um, I didn't warm up before playing, by the way. I normally do some warm ups so that I'm a little more energetic and a little more awake, I guess. Uh, just been, it's just been a really crappy day, man. Uh, also, interesting bug I just want to share. Uh, say you get kicked from your company. You can still see company chat for some reason. Um, it looks like it's scrolled off on my screen already, but uh, yeah, I can still see what they're saying. <laughs> And uh, if you're new to the channel, I get kicked for all sorts of dumb reasons. And this is not Enclave. Th those guys are based. Uh, this this was 
the remaining peoples. And I can't tell. Is there a person here? This is highly risky what I'm doing. Um, can we cap this? Yeah, whoever was capping this just kind of effed off. All right, so we're going to cap this now, and then we're going to turn in the resources. Uh, I'm just going to throw a trap there. These guys are fine. And then we're going to put these resources into the base, which you can see right now. There, This is a respawn point. This is the very first thing that you want to build. I'm going to pop in the healing circle here. But there's another important building that we want to put resources in, uh, which we will need to go mining for. And it's going to rapidly increase our sword. Right now we're at 800. We can, we can definitely boost this up. All right, so we have this captured. We have the rawhide. Uh, or okay. Yeah, we got to go mine some more, but let's just put the hide in here for now So check out my score now uh, And the score is now 890. All right, so let's go ahead and go to this building I'm at 890 score and we're gonna put the wood in All right, and then we're gonna back off and our score is now 1090 So we gained a hundred something just for putting that in and then you can continue to gain more score by dumping all of this wood that we have into like doors and the other um, things. Even if you don't finish it. So we're at 150, 160, and oh, <laughs> uh, just in time. Also, don't try to snipe from this ledge because Great Axes can pull you off the ledge, by the way. He's going around the back. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. I, I want to dump this the this Azoth files that I have, right? So I don't want to engage this guy. I want to be a, a you know very timid person. And, like, I do no damage. I'll just show you right now. What are they even doing? 1,900. Look at his HP. I did, like, nothing to it. <laughs> 1,200. Like, I barely hurt this guy. He's just going to chug potions. And he's probably got some friends coming, so I am, like like I said, I'm, I'm not going to mess with him. I, I know, I know it's disappointing, but that 500 vials is worth a lot. And I don't want to lose it to this guy. So, um, I am absolutely not fighting him. I'm not geared to fight. Okay, here, here comes a guy. A lot of the times, these bat campers, they're not alone. They have friends in Discord that are sneaking in bushes. And like I said, I really don't want to risk it. But... I've got a guy in there now, and look how much, like, I do no damage because I don't have the gear and because they changed the system, okay? Used to, your gear score didn't matter about your damage and your armor values, okay? It was all about uh, <laughs> how much actual armor value and damage that your item had. So having the PvP set was actually very beneficial. And he just parried my bullet, it looks like. And yes, I know I'm missing shots. It's whatever, I don't care. You can judge me. I don't get to PvP much. I came from a dead server. And again, it's not really been the focus on my channel. Whatever, okay? I don't value skill in video games anymore. But it looks like he's about to go down. So we can actually snipe the kill here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this is so awkward, man. Uh, and uh, yeah, there he goes. He's running away now. Okay, let's one. Oh, some there's like a timer from when the death icon appears to when you can actually execute them. I don't know what it is, but anyway, let's let's put up that other door now. Uh, just dump our wood before we actually go turn in our Azoth files because that's another huge score hike. You also get an assist for attacking other players. It doesn't give you much score though, sadly. But all we care about is raising that score. And uh, oh no, they did um, Baroness, so. Uh, our uh, capture point score is frozen, but that's okay. So we're going to actually act, be able to build this turret, and that's going to give us some score. And we can also build the other turret as well. But everything else is going to need some ore. We'll farm that next. Oh, let's go ahead and dump the wood into this. There we go. And, and yeah, you're basically playing as like the, the little villager from like Age of Empires. You're playing as like an SCV, a drone, or a uh, whatever the Protoss units have. The probes? Yeah. I think it's a probe, right? You're basically the worker bee for your uh, your little RTS team, right? So I got the doors built. We'll get some ore later. Build the spawn point. I'm surprised no one did that. Technically, if you want to be really try hard and help your team win, having the spawn point is very vital. Uh, but we need to go down here now to the corrupted portal and turn in our uh, vials. Because if you turn it into the shop and buy potions and bread or uh, by like the summoned bear here, you get no score. So it's completely wasted. So let's say you run here and there's another player. Just put just put it in into the uh, into the node. Even if you die, you still get the score for putting it in. That's all that's all that creates the score. Now I'm actually I can't run around that side. I uh, I'm actually pathing to it wrong. But uh here, let's let's speed this up. Get over there and let me show you. Uh -huh. 
Why does it aggro me if he's shooting it? Whatever. We'll come back and mine on the way back. And then we're going to put that in the base. We'll have the spawn points. We can have the, the vat of lava, which all of those are pretty useless. Uh, it looks like there is a player there. Um, so at this point, I have to judge. Do I want to try to fight him? I can shoot him, and I can see that I don't really do much damage to him. Um, but he is taking a beating. <laughs> and I'm also taking a beating from the mobs. He might try to run or f yeah he's gonna try to fight so i'm just gonna puss out and uh i'll see him later now another way to is to just sneak up there by crouch walking and not aggroing all these mobs also i could you know shoot from high ground to be tactical or this guy could come and we could like 2v1 him whatever but i don't want to lose 500 vials because that's going to give him a buttload of score uh, it looks kind of clear right now. I don't know where he effed off to. He could be hiding in a bush waiting to just nuke me with fire magic because it looked like he was a fire mage. I don't know where he's at, but let's just run in, dump our points as fast as possible. And if we get a token, that's going to really help our team. If not, it's cool. It's fine. But yeah, you just go here and let's look at our score. So I'm applying it. I'm at 1650. 1726. Look how much score we're getting, guys. 18. It's a lot. That's why uh, we farm. And it looks like we made it. So we actually got the, the, the summoning stone. And to my knowledge, if you die with the Summoning Stone, you don't lose it. But we ended up, we're at 2150, we're now 8th place. And we haven't even killed a player. We haven't even engaged or capped a point. And we are in 8th place. So, at this point, let's just mine. And is that, oh, that's the enemy guy. So we can actually risk dying here, and it's not a big deal. So I can actually fight this dude. And he is a rapier fire staff, it looks like. What the, see, that's so BS that he dodges right when I shoot. He's, he's, it looks like he's going to run away too. And, you know, if we steal his resources... Yeah, here we go. <laughs> it looks like he's medium or heavy. Okay, he's live staff, so I, I have no way to actually kill him. Because he'll just heal himself. What does he give me, Beacon? Yeah, I'll just uh, throw that down there. What? He's ignoring me and fighting the mobs. What a chad, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> go away. <laughs> See, I do no damage. There's really no point for me to engage this guy at all. I might as well just run away and mine my side of the map. Sadly. So. <laughs> it's, it sucks. This is what the game became. Uh, this is why I don't agree with the, uh, the the gear score update. And he's just gonna shoot me. It's whatever. I can just run away. Now, he has rapier, so he can kind of follow. But um, I doubt he uh, has uh, the dexterity for triple rolling. So, it's whatever. All right, so we are back on our side of the map. Someone's been mining, so they might be putting it into the base. That's fine. But um, essentially what you really, really want to do, what you mainly want to focus on after this, if you don't want to engage the enemy and you want more points, is you want to go into this little camp here, the command outpost. And this is where you want to put all your resources because this will give you your team like a 3, 6, and 9% damage reduction and damage buff. Other than that, you could always defend against bat cappers. Like, I do no damage, um, <laughs> as you can see. And, uh, we could actually kneel here and just start rapid firing. Is this a tank? Did he, he reverse stabbed him? Damn. John Stoppable, man. <laughs> what a fun name. Alright, well, whatever. That gives us a, um, an assist. We should have two assists now. Our score is 2200. We're in 12th place. There is another player coming, and what's he doing? Okay, well, he's dead, so uh, I actually do a little bit of damage to that guy. I guess he wasn't super good. Did I get the kill for that? Ah, come on. Hit the right button. 2270? No. So that assist, that assist didn't even give me a um, score at all. I don't know what the threshold is, but uh, let's go ahead and go back to mining now. Um, you could also just chop wood and kill mobs until the end, which doesn't contribute to the team if you want to contribute to the team. Um... <laughs> Then, uh, yeah, you have to mix all three mining. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, what I found out, I have ran experiments. And this is for you, those of you that have stuck this long into, the, into this video. And I don't even know how well this video is going to perform. It's definitely not a searchable topic. But if you just care about your score and nothing else, all you want to do is kill the mobs around the tree area. You don't want to bother killing the mobs around the mining area and doing the mining uh, building like stuffs. Because that will actually take more time for less reward so if all you care about is score then skip mining entirely but again it's detrimental to your team so if you're gonna go ahead and do the builder roll you might as well mine as you know and then once you run out of wood which i only have 50 remaining 
uh, you just go, you know, chop more trees. And hopefully there's other people on your team helping you do this. But let's go ahead and, uh, like, I'm going to play this game out for you guys. Just kind of make it like a let's play slash guide. And that is a friendly heal, not an enemy heal, because it didn't deal damage. And you could just pull all of them, but they will reset. So, By the way, you need to get the killing blow on these mobs. Like, in this case, this guy is also shooting the mobs. If you don't kill the mob, you don't get the score for it. So, uh, if there's a lot of people killing mobs, just use a, a fast attacking weapon. I'm using Rapier. He's going to mine that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> you don't get score for mining. You only get score for turning in the metal. Okay. And there we go. We got credit for that. And if you want, you can just run around, you know, kill dudes, get more brutes. And brutes are really, really good for your front line. Uh, like right now, we own the middle, so I should really turn in my brute. Uh, though I'm, I kind of want to kill these guys, just for the score. Just to push it up a little bit. I don't know if the game has an anti-AFK thing, like once you get 500 score and then you AFK the rest of the match. It's, you should get the points, but you might have to kill like one more thing. And he's pretty good at uh, uh, aiming that. Okay, so we have all three points, and it looks like they are mid- they're camping mid, so I'm gonna dump the Brute at Moon? Maybe. I have a mobility build, so I should be fine unless I get aimbotted. And there are lots of aimbots in this game. You know what, maybe I'll dump it in the middle. Let's see. I don't know, what's more demoralizing? What do you guys think? I know this is not a stream. Uh, let's- you know what, let's just go ahead and put it here. Just go ahead and put it- let's see, my score is, uh, 2550. I don't think summoning this gives me score. Yeah, it does not give you score. Let's wait for the animation to finish. Let's wait for him to start idling around. There he goes. Uh, t yeah, you get no score for actually summoning that. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the door here. <laughs> Which is funny, because it kind of hurts this John Stoppable dude. But it gives me score, so that's all I care about. Alright, there we go. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in here, and I've got some resources to lose. Where- what are they focusing on? Is it this guy? Okay, yeah, that's a- that's a loss, so I'll see y'all later. I don't think I can get out of the door while I'm being attacked. Nope. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I got my brute to protect me. Alright. Well, we're just gonna push out of there. We do have resources to lose, so... Oh, he's shooting me from the, the top. Better take cover. Also, these things you can dump resources into. Um, what do I have? I have some leather. So let's just put this in. <laughs> uh, again, it's just for score. It, it, that's, all, that's all I care about, is boosting this number. I'm now I'm rank 11, and I've really honestly contributed almost nothing. But, you know, I just wanna, I just wanna see something. Can, can we fish? We cannot fish. I cannot equip my fishing pole. Um, that, well, that sucks. Oh well. You can, uh, can I gather water? I can gather water. So if you want to gather water and sell it on the market, this is the place to do it, I suppose. I keep canceling it though. Let's see. How much we get? We got 14. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I don't need to sell water to do that though. Uh, alright. What, what else are we doing? We could just fight on the front lines now if we want. I could actually go back to here and turn in 175 for the score. Let's just do that, I guess. Or I could kill these guys. It's whatever. They're pretty easy to kill. Just raise our score up, get more of the Azoth files, turn those in, we can get another Brute. You can just spam the map with Brutes, and that's actually pretty, it's pretty good for your team. Who is he chasing? Okay, he's chasing an ally. <laughs> I like how we're in their forest doing this. But yeah, th this was pretty much a stomp, so um, I've noticed that most of these matches, it's always one-sided anyway. So, but what you want to do, especially if you're on the losing side before you start getting spawn camped up here, because these guys are spawn camping hardcore, right? Uh, as long as you get that 500 score, and I'm at 2,700 by the way, uh, you're fine. That's all you need. 500 and you get your looty box, and this guy's shooting me, so whatever. I don't really feel like using a consumable to heal. Just Spam evade and spam left click like a zug zug uh, low IQ brainlet. That's fine. Are we gonna bleed out here? We might. No, we're. Yeah, we're gonna die of poison. So uh, do I chug a potion or do I not really care? You know what? I don't really care. I'm just gonna die and lose all the stuff that I looted. It's right there. It's okay. I can always come back and pick it up and then turn it in if I want. I, my score is high enough to get the optimal box anyway. And speaking of spawn points, so here we go, we, we built that spawn point earlier and now we can respawn at it, which gives us, or your team rather, just a little bit of an advantage, right? 
But mainly, you want to work on this. Just work on the main fort. Just put everything into here. And that's going to increase, again, damage reduction and damage done. Also, for those that don't know, this is actually a vendor. This little thing right here. And you use those Azoth vials to get potions. Powder kegs, which I don't know what the point is. Maybe to blow open a door. And the battle bread. This is the big one. You always want to have this buff going if you're like a serious PvPer. I would do... Maybe 1,150 damage instead of 1,000 when I have this applied. But it does, 50% it, it, damage absorption is actually really big. But I'm in light armor, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, my team is pretty close to winning. We can just kind of derp around and do whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, what matters is we're going to get our loot box and our gold. And we're also going to get the, uh, uh, the gypsum for the day. I think you can get two. Is it two or three? I think it's only two. I don't really remember, but uh, what is this guy fighting? Is he fighting a player? No, he's just fighting mobs. Okay. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the guide. And and yeah, some people are going to be mad that I have zero kills. I have one death and three assists. whoop de doo Resources contributed. There's actually a guy on the other team. Oh, that one guy couldn't kill who contributed more. But his, his score is only 200 two more. <laughs> I don't know. He's got one kill, though. So you can see the difference that a kill and a not a kill makes. And, oh, that's a player. We could catch him. No. <laughs> the problem is that Rapier has no magnetism and, and it has no tracking. All right. So, yeah, there's the gypsum. We got the coin. We got the Azoth. Now, it's not shown here, but we also got that loot box. And we placed 14th. So that's pretty cool. The guy doing the same thing as me. They got one kill placed third on his team, uh, which really shows the imbalance. Uh, I'm sure this guy, Hognificent, and Regina here, they either were healing. I, I haven't tried healing yet because my old server didn't have Outpost Rush, so I never got to really do it. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure you get score for just healing. I, I don't know. I would I would love to test it. But that guy I fought earlier was a healer. Maybe healing yourself doesn't give points. Otherwise, you can just stand on mobs while they damage you and then heal yourself. That would be kind of another way to cheat the system i suppose but uh let's open this up see what we got it's all garbage and uh yeah that's it i'm soul binge thanks for watching as always be a bro and stay swole uh videos every day again i guess i don't know i'm really bored of this game and i don't have anyone to play with i have no friends so i don't know if i'm gonna keep playing it but hope you enjoyed or found this video useful take care see you tomorrow